Hello everyone, so in this video, I am going to be doing a quick review of a ketone breath meter. So um, what this does is actually measures the acetone level uh, from your breath when you are trying to breathe out the air from your lung. And uh, so this is really crucial for people who are on a keto diet to constantly monitor whether they are still in the ketosis state or not. And if you're over here, uh, you probably already know what this does. And uh, you probably also want to know whether this works or not. Okay. So I bought this for about $55 on Amazon. And uh, as you can see, this is a non-branded uh, ketone breath meter. So they have a lot of those for sale on Amazon, all different kinds of brands. And actually, most of them are actually coming from China. So all those sellers are probably Chinese sellers. Um, what those are essentially are, are just the rebranded uh, breathalyzers. So, and they actually use one of those lower end breathalyzer technology, which just uses a semiconductor sensor. Uh, it uh, detects the acetone level. Uh, when you breathe the air through here, the semiconductor sensor try to detect the acetone level from your breath. It goes in here and it comes out from here, okay? So, and for this particular one, I'll post the link down below if you guys are also interested. This particular one, again, non-branded, um, um, it just have one single button over here and also features a, a like function button on here, but uh, there's no way to press it without using a little pin. Uh, basically, what it does is it changes the measuring unit um, from the MMOL per liter to the um, uh, parts per meter or, or parts per liter or something like that. Um, but I think for American market, what most people do is um, actually just use that MMOL uh, measuring unit. So uh, opening up the box, you're going to find a very simple carrying pouch, a white carrying pouch. And you're also gonna find um, a few mouthpiece uh, over here. Like they provided me with nine mouthpiece, which is uh, too much, like for personal use. Um, so basically I just use this one. I mean, I test with, uh, I test myself and my wife also uses this to test to see if she's in keto or not. Um, so it's nice to have extra mouthpiece. I guess if you're in a commercial environment, those mouthpiece actually helps. Um, otherwise, it comes with a quick uh, important tips, which basically just says uh, you need to wait five to six minutes in between each tests, okay? Um, if you want to retest. Um, and uh, also the results might vary by a slight degree. And it's not for medical, uh, precise medical measurements. So use it only for a reference. Uh, that's why this is only designed for home use, you know. Um, so this is their model number, Key ET 9000. Uh, again, you, you can probably find it over here, Key ET 9000 over here. So it takes the measurements from 0 to 10 mmol per liter and 5 to 500 parts per, per m. I don't know what the m stands for, but... Uh, those are the measuring range and it uses two a batteries, which is very easy and simple to install So to power it on so if you are using it for the first time you power it on uh, It might go into a couple of different 20 second countdowns But if you have used it for a little bit uh, It only does a 20 second countdown and once the countdown is ended That's when you're gonna it's gonna display and says start. That's when you're gonna blow the air through the uh, piece over here, the mouthpiece over here for about six seconds. So when you blow the air, you can hear a beep. I'm going to show you guys really quick. So now it says start. So basically, I'm just blowing until it stops. OK, so it gives me a ketone reading. Right now, I have eight lunch and now it's about uh, uh, five hours past lunch. This is my ketosis level, which is 1.2, which is not too bad. So for you to be uh, for you to be in keto state, you want to ideally have a uh, ketosis level of 
1.5 to 3. That's the optimum level. And uh, if you're in 0.5 to 1.5, that means you're kind of in the keto state. You're not fully in the keto state yet, uh, but you're there. So you're started, you started to burn fat, but you also burn some other um, sources of energy, such as calories from the carbohydrates. So ideally, you want a level of 1.5 to 3. Um, but I know at this time of the day, my level is actually at the lowest. So I'm not really worried too much because when I test um, in the morning time and before my lunch time, my, ketone, my ketosis level is always at a 2.4 to 2.7. So I know I'm in ketos, ketosis state and I have been doing keto uh, diet for about a month now and amazingly I have lost almost 10 pounds of the weight um, so I'm gonna keep doing that and this little tool actually helps uh, for me to know exactly which state I'm at and where exactly the level is during the day so I'm gonna show you guys again just to do another really quick test so every time when you finish the test it ultimately turns off and every time you turn it back on, it goes into a 20 second countdown again, okay? So you just wait for 20 seconds and then I can do the test again by blowing air through here. Can't show you um, on the camera, but it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna blow the air again. So you always want to blow till the beep starts and stops. So as you can see, it has given me a fairly constant reading. Um, again, this is this means I'm in keto state, just not the very best optimal level of a keto state. And this is perfectly normal reading for me during this time of the day, so I am not worried. But at this point, I want you guys to know that um, this ketone meter has given me fairly consistent readings. So if you're curious, what would happen if you don't like really blow the air, just let it measure the steel air inside there. And uh, hopefully it gives me a reading of zero. That means the machine is actually working just fine. And uh, so we're gonna find it out really quick. Okay, so I'm also gonna show you guys a, a quick chart that they include. So basically, if you don't do anything, it just stops and do a measurement. So it gives me a reading of zero, which means the machine is perfectly in fine working condition. I didn't blow into it. I didn't detect any ketone levels in my breath because there's no breath to detect. Okay, so let's put it aside. It's going to turn off automatically. Okay, and over here, it gives you a sample reading of the optimal ketone zone. So over here, it's got 0.5, which you barely begin the ketosis. And if you add one, it kind of goes into the green and it go to 1.5, and which means I'm in the, the green optimal ketone zone and you go all the way to three. You don't ever want to go above three because um, that just means something's horribly wrong. Um, you're into the starvation ketosis state, which means you're not getting enough food. And uh, if you're entering the 10 plus, that's very dangerous. You better go see a doctor and control your ketone level um, in your body. Otherwise, you're going to actually die if you have uh, been in this state for too long. Okay, so um, so that is the chart that they give you um, in the manual. It also gives you just some basic information. And uh, so it basically says uh, don't smoke, don't eat, don't drink and wait 20 minutes to test, which uh, which it will give you a fairly consistent reading, okay? So if you guys are wondering if the ketone breath meter from uh, the Amazon, the $55 one, the white one, um, uh, works or not, I can tell you right off the bat, yes, it works perfectly fine in giving you the readings. And however, there are a few quirks about this keto meter um, that I want to show you guys. First is the build quality. Um, it's not a very high-end device. It, it feels like a $10 to $20 device. They just jacked up the price uh, because there are a lot of people nowadays doing keto, so they want a keto meter. 
And uh, honestly, I think the breath meter is the best of all three different varying test methods. Um, the other two being the urine test strip and the blood test. Um, I really hate, you know, pinching my fingers every day, different times of the day, just to get a pinch of the blood to get my ketone level. Uh, granted, that is the most accurate way, uh, but I really don't need the most accurate ketone testing method because I know I'm in ketone. I used my breath meter and I know every day my level is very consistent. So again, I don't need that very precise blood metering method. If you guys are very precise, if you're a perfectionist, you, know, you want to know the exact metering uh, of the ketone level in your body, uh, feel free to go use a blood meter. Over here in this video, I highly suggest you to just get a regular breath meter because that, that is the best uh, for me to keep track of my ketone level throughout the day. Again, you don't need precise level, you just need to track. I know at this at this point, my ketone level is 1.4 to 1.5. And later on, when I go to the bed, when I go to bed, it goes a little bit higher after my dinner. And uh, my best keto ketosis state is always um, when I'm sleeping and uh, before I'm eating my lunch. Um, the level is always around 2.4 to 2.7, uh, give or take a few points, but uh, that is my best ketone level uh, during the day, which is in the morning time, okay? And again, if you guys have any questions about this ketone meter, feel free to ask me in the comments section down below. Um, I think this is the best of the both worlds comparing the three different methods. It's super convenient and it gives you a fairly good result from a, just a simple breath uh, that you take, okay? So, um, oh yeah, back to the build quality. So um, they even have some nasty hair uh, build like stuck in between the glue over here on the top. And they have some weird marks over here on the display. I mean, granted, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep this ketone meter, but don't expect stellar build quality on any of those meters because it's very plasticky, it's very light, and uh, it does its job perfectly fine, okay? So guys, any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And I hope you found this video helpful in helping you decide whether you should get a breath meter or not. Please be sure to hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful in helping you decide whether you need a ketone breath meter or not, okay? Thank you so much and take care.